After Shyamalan's two great films, the next pair of movies were the ones that had sort of an in-between appeal. I call the mixed films. Signs and The Village. After finding crop circles in his field, a farmer and his family find themselves at the center of what appears to be a global alien encounter. Now, technically, Signs did very well at the time. In fact, it's the only movie that breaks the downward pattern here, but it's still in the mixed category because in recent years, there's definitely been more people criticizing it. It's probably due to the fact that at the time, it was still coasting off the fumes of its previous two hits, and now that people are aware of how bad Shyamalan's films can be, the flaws seem much more obvious now. And I agree. I'm mixed on this film, too. It is interesting to have a worldwide alien invasion coming from such a small viewpoint because, well, that's how the majority of us would see it. A lot of critics at the time praised the slow reveal of the alien, which is kept very in the shadows for a long time. The movie is very suspenseful, but that's mostly because the story moves so freaking slow. It really drags at times, and there's plenty of moments that you feel they could have either sped up or just had chunks of lines completely cut out. The atmosphere wouldn't be so bad if it just wasn't so damn heavy. You can tell that this movie really wants you to feel uneasy, and it succeeds at some points, but mostly it just feels like it's trying too hard. It's especially obvious in scenes when the characters act overly serious with such weight to their voices. You know, and they don't sound completely unmotivated and bland. No. Swing away. Are you in my dream too? Dogs are barking. Woke us up. I'm glad to see Abigail Breslin and Rory Culkin have gone on to do much better. Plus, there's a lot of stuff that just outright doesn't make sense. You hear a lot of people make fun of the surprise that the alien's weakness is something very abundant to the point that their invasion seems both ill-advised and probably impossible. Like some Shyamalan stories, it has great ideas, but it doesn't put them together well. I love the idea that he's a pastor that loses his faith over something that turned out to be planned by God and was actually necessary for him to survive something in the future, but... The fact that it's his wife's death that's needed just to tell him to beat the aliens with a baseball bat is really weird. All in all, Signs is one of those films that just kind of got worse over time. Whereas The Village was very mixed at the time and is still very mixed today. So it's pretty much stayed the same. The population of a small, isolated countryside village believe that their alliance with the mysterious creatures that inhabit the forest around them is coming to an end. Critics like Roger Ebert outright hated this film, while others praised it for its creepy and suspenseful nature. Even amongst the polar opposite reviews, most praised the performance of Bryce Dallas Howard as the blind Ivy Walker. It was also Shyamalan's first film to get an Oscar nomination since The Sixth Sense, though it was just for the sweeping score by James Newton Howard and nothing Shyamalan got sole credit for. But, personally, I like this film a lot. It has heavy atmosphere and serious acting like Signs did, but to me it was handled much better and just worked more here. An isolated village warrants the use of dark atmosphere much more than Pennsylvania farmland, which isn't as appropriate. And the foreboding attitude of the actors also seems to fit the period styling as well. I liked the community of the village, the mystery, and I did like the twist ending. But a lot of people didn't. Although, even the reason for not liking the twist wasn't that unanimous. Yeah, most people's opinion on this film hinges directly on what they thought of the twist. While it is surprising and does give new meaning to the film's previous events like a good twist is supposed to, some felt it ruined the movie's atmosphere, changing your view too much. Some said the twist ruined a perfectly good movie. Some said the only thing good about the movie was the twist. Some said the film should be more about the aftermath of the twist. Some said it came out of nowhere, some even said that the twist was too obvious and that they could see it coming from the beginning. Even I'll admit, as much as I liked the final surprise, the reveal of the creature's nature disappointed me a little. But on top of all that, Shyamalan's twists were starting to lose their freshness, and it began to feel like he was doing twist endings just for the sake of twist endings, and that got people calling him a one-trick pony, so yeah, I, I enjoyed this film and its ending, but I can get why some people didn't.